In 2020, China quietly launched a spacecraft to the moon. The mission? Simple. Collect lunar soil and bring it back. Nearly two kilograms of that gray, ancient dust returned to Earth. At first, few paid attention. But something changed. Buried in that lunar sample was a mineral never before seen on Earth. It was named Changesite. Why? A new discovery in the world of science. And more intriguingly, this mineral may contain helium-3, a potential fuel for future clean energy. But here's where the mystery begins. Why has so little been revealed about it? Why isn't the global scientific community talking more? Some experts say it's just another rock. Others believe it could unlock the next energy revolution. What exactly did China bring back from the moon? And why are so many details still in the dark? Tonight we ask, did China discover a material that could change the energy future of humanity? In December 2020, China's Chang'e 5 mission successfully landed on the moon, marking a major milestone. It became the first mission in over 40 years to return lunar soil to Earth. The spacecraft collected 1.73 kilograms of lunar regolith from a region known as Oceanus Procellarum, or Ocean of Storms. This region had never been sampled before, making the mission scientifically significant. Once the samples returned, Chinese scientists began analyzing them intensively. And then they made a discovery. A previously unknown mineral, identified from a single crystal particle just 10 micrometers wide. They named it Changesite. Why? A phosphate mineral containing helium-3, a rare isotope that has long fascinated energy researchers. Why? Because helium-3 has the potential to fuel nuclear fusion, a clean, powerful energy source without radioactive waste. The Chinese Academy of Sciences confirmed the discovery in 2022, and the mineral was officially recognized by the International Mineralogical Association. This was not just a scientific breakthrough, it was a strategic one. Helium-3 is extremely rare on Earth, but may exist in large quantities on the Moon. Many scientists believe that future lunar mining could spark an energy race in space. So when China discovered a new mineral that contains helium-3, it wasn't just about science. It was a signal. China is positioning itself at the forefront of a new kind of space competition, not just for territory, but for energy. Despite the scientific recognition of Changesite Y, something felt unusual. Unlike discoveries by NASA or ESA, this mineral wasn't widely discussed in international science communities. The data remained almost entirely in Chinese language journals. No raw sample was shared with outside laboratories. And while the presence of helium-3 was mentioned, there were no detailed studies released about its quantity, structure, or potential use. This raised questions. Why would China, a rising power in space, be so silent about such a major discovery? Some analysts suggest it's simply a matter of internal research protocols. Others believe it points to strategic secrecy. After all, helium-3 is not just another mineral. If it really can be used for nuclear fusion, whoever controls it may control future energy supplies. There's also the issue of the landing site. The Chang'e 5 samples came from an area known for its magnetic anomalies, places where the moon's magnetic field behaves unpredictably. Some geologists speculate that such regions may hide metallic deposits or even ancient impact remnants buried deep beneath the surface. Could change a site, why, be part of something bigger? Is it a clue to a larger, unexplored structure beneath the moon's crust? Or perhaps something not entirely natural? So far, there are more questions than answers. But one thing is clear. China found something strange, something powerful, on the moon. And they're not ready to talk about all of it just yet. Now let's take a step further, not into fantasy, but into educated speculation. Some independent researchers have raised a fascinating idea. What if change a site, why, is not of lunar origin? Could it be a fragment of something else? 
perhaps a metallic remnant from a past celestial impact, or even a piece of ancient technology. Sound far-fetched? Let's look at the facts. The moon has been bombarded by asteroids for billions of years. Some of those asteroids may have carried materials not found on Earth. And some impacts may have been so intense, they fused natural and artificial elements, especially if other civilizations once existed in the distant past. Interestingly, the location where Changesite, Y, was found is near a magnetic anomaly zone, similar to regions on Earth where strange artifacts have been discovered. And then, there's the Helium-3. Many believe that if an advanced civilization ever tried to harvest energy beyond Earth, the Moon, rich in Helium-3, would be a natural location for them to operate from. So here's the question. What if Changesite, Y, is not just a mineral, but a leftover trace of something ancient and engineered, long buried beneath the surface. Of course, we can't say for sure. But the silence from China only deepens the mystery. In science, absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. And when it comes to space, the things we don't know may be more important than the things we do. So, what do we really know? China brought back lunar samples, discovered a never-before-seen mineral, and confirmed the presence of Helium-3, a potential fuel source that could revolutionize energy on Earth. But beyond the headlines, there are still many questions. Why the silence? Why so little international collaboration? And what exactly is Changesite? Why? A natural anomaly? A technological trace? Or a quiet beginning to something much bigger? What's more interesting is this. The moon, once seen as a dead gray world, is quietly becoming the center of a new kind of race. Not just for exploration, but for dominance. If helium-3 becomes viable as a fusion fuel, the first nation to control it could gain a strategic energy advantage unlike anything we've seen before. Imagine a country powering entire cities without pollution while the rest of the world still burns coal and gas. That's why missions like Chang'e 5 matter, not just for science, but for what they represent. This is no longer science fiction. It's a future being written right now, on the dusty surface of the moon. And so we ask again, what did China really find? And what are they planning next? In the next episode, we'll look deeper. Is China preparing the first permanent lunar base? Is Helium-3 already being extracted in secret? Stay tuned, because the race for space may soon become the race for survival.